So when Brandon and Lampton and I formed Moonbot Studios, it, the idea was that we wanted to tell stories, but in a variety of medium. By working with Moonbot, by creating a film, it really is the perfect complement of our technology with the best of storytellers. We understand that storytelling is a really challenging craft and that when someone gets an idea and wants to bring that all the way through to completion, that having great technology at their fingertips to allow them to be as creative as possible is very important. We have two characters that represent picture and sound. And then we took those two characters and put them on a journey that represent the evolution of film technology. We fell in love with Moonbot's Oscar-winning character, Morris Lesmore. It just seemed right somehow that, you know, this silent character would be the one that would tell the sort of stories we wanted to tell. To complement Morris as picture, we created the kid who represents sound. Morris and the kid start as street performers. They find this cool old theater, they go inside, and they have this amazing, immersive experience. And by the time they are done, the theater's transformed into this grand movie palace, and they have found their audience. Since you're going through different eras, you're actually going to give nods to the styles of music that were used then. And then it, and it basically takes you from, from these different styles all the way up to what's contemporary today. People don't realize how much emotion and storytelling they get from what they hear. They think that it mostly comes from what they see. I think sound can work on a really unconscious level. As soon as someone realizes they're watching animation, they're, they're willing to go places they wouldn't. And I think that includes breaking the laws of physics or whatever. There's a different level of, of suspension of disbelief. Sound is one of the things now that, that really binds you into that world, envelops you completely. I mean, it takes it from just being the flat plane in front of you to literally surrounding you. And there's nothing else like that. So there's a lot of things at play. There's what you're, you're feeling, and there's what you're actually literally seeing. And then, on top of that, there's what you're hearing. So we are, are doing all of these things kind of in symphony with each other. Sound and picture are evolving literally right before your eyes and ears. We were always aware that we wanted to take advantage of the Dolby technology. Dolby Atmos is like a filmmaker's dream. You can precisely position sounds anywhere you want them in the theater. The first crack of thunder in uh, the beginning of the piece put up in the ceiling in Atmos, and it just so happens the characters are looking exactly where we put it. Working with sound designers and musicians to amplify what you're doing visually is such a magical thing. We start from storyboards and drawings, and a few months later you're hearing scratch tracks and demo sounds for the things you've drawn. That in itself is wonderful. It's amazing, it's magical. Dolby has prided themselves on helping enrich the entertainment experience. This is a really great celebration of true art and science, and how technology combined with the artist's dream has evolved over time, and, and how Dolby has been a part of that.